for allowing the staff to move forward for this program. And I encourage all members of council to um, apply and go next year. It was awesome, along with the police academy. Are there any other comments from council? We will now move to reports of officers. Here you go, starting with the mayor. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, as you could tell uh, by the uh, uh, service department being out and about, uh, fall is in full swing, picking up leaves, uh, cleaning up around the city, and by the weather. Uh, it's been kind of uh, miserable out there, but it's going to be 70 later this week, so we'll take it. Um, the fire department, like uh, the uh, council president said, concluded their first Citizens uh, Academy and had the pleasure of passing out the uh, diplomas. And I'll tell you what, the, uh, uh, the residents were just so happy and, and, and satisfied with the uh, course and uh, were just um, amazed. I was amazed by their reaction to it. So thanks, Chief, uh, for putting that on. Thanks, Ryan, for spearheading that. And uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna do it again, so I uh, hope everyone uh, gets involved. Um, <clears throat> congratulations to Matt. Good to see you up here, Matt. You've been involved in a lot of things, and uh, um, I'm sure you're gonna be a great addition to council. Um, one last thing, the Northeast Ohio Regional Firefighter Medic Exam is going to be held Tuesday, December 3rd, 2024, so that is a 10 city, one test um, opportunity for people to take the test. And um, online applications are available October 13th through November 27th on our website. So you can go to our website, get an application and sign up for that test. And that concludes my report. Are there any questions for the mayor? Okay, we'll move to law director, Mr. Murphy. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. I have no report, but I would like to mention that uh, we received, and I think all of council received a copy of a revised proposal for uh, engineering services regarding the flood event on August 17, 2024. That's the subject of resolution number 2024-44. Um, so since it's a revised uh, proposal, I would suggest that council table that resolution and I'll look at it and see what the differences are and may amend the legislation, uh, whatever, but I'd request that be tabled this evening. Okay. And that's all. All right, thank you. Director of Finance, Mrs. Scully. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, we were presented the Ohio Auditor of State Award for Excellence in Financial Reporting in accordance with general accepted accounting principles and compliance with all applicable laws and regulations for the fiscal year ended 2023. I wanted to take a moment to thank our finance department for their continued efforts in this area as well as all other departments and everyone else involved with the purchasing process and reporting. Uh, it's a team effort to achieve this award. So thank you everyone for helping us obtain it. That's awesome. Congratulations. Are there any questions for Mrs. Scully? All right. At this time, it's the department directors. And if anyone has a report, just please come up to the podium. Thank you. Uh, good evening. Uh, I just have a few items to highlight from this past quarter I'd like to share with council this evening. Um, as we've talked about in the past, the importance of outreach to the business community. So uh, over this past quarter, I've sent an inter introductory email to the following streets, all the businesses on the following streets. So we touched on Landerbrook, Landerhaven, Parkland, Som Center, and Mayfield Road. So it was quite a bit of businesses to outreach to. Um, due to some of the retail establishments, especially on Som and, and Mayfield, we had you know, some bounces of those emails. So we'll have to go and go back and do some work to clean up the business list and get it to where we have really um, solid emails so we can further our communications with the businesses. Um, and, and that's really a supplement to the person, more personal outreach and introductory emails 
uh, to some of the larger businesses that have uh, that I've done, and to date I've had some correspondence, whether that's personal emails or meetings or some kind of combination with um, all but five of the top 25 businesses as listed by Rita through their report. So we'll continue to establish these outreach um, efforts and continue to reach out to our business community and see how we can do things better and, and solicit that feedback. Uh, we've also had some some exciting projects kind of kick off over the last quarter. So um, when I started here and discussed with the mayor and then I heard some echoing from, from council as well about the desire to update and really improve the city's definition and some of its gateway entry points. Um, so working towards that goal, the city's engaged a design firm called Guide Studio. Um, and their, their scope of work is to develop a community signage and way, wayfinding plan, and then also a conceptual sign design package. Um, so the project kicked off and is well underway. Uh, we had our first project kickoff meeting with our internal team. We had um, our, our community stakeholder meeting, which is made up of uh, the, the steering committee, I should say. And the steering committee is made up of um, administrative folks from the city administration, some business uh, representatives, um, and then Council President Snyder is, was on there as well. And just by coincidence, our newest council member as well is on that steering committee. So, um, you know, that, that process is moving forward. Um, and it's, it, we'll have another steering committee in November, meeting in November, and then the project will really wrap up in December, and when we have the final work product, it'll be something that we share with council as well. Um, so again, exciting project. We also um, decided to move forward with Great Lakes Publishing. Uh, we're gonna do a community magazine next year. Um, so that project just, just started. It's an editorial publication that's paid for through advertisements. Um, it's, it's exciting because we get to kind of tell our own story, and that's mailed to every resident, every household, and every business in the city, and that will be really arriving in mailboxes in early, or late spring, early summer of next year. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about highlighting some of our new businesses. We had nine uh, new businesses this past quarter. Um, just to touch on a few of them, we had the new Verizon store on Mayfield Road that relocated down the street. Uh, had a new couple of new businesses on Landerbrook, uh, Synergy One Lending Company, and Zaskin Law. And then in the restaurant food world, we had Nothing Bunt Cakes open up um, in Golden Gate Plaza. Uh, we had in the Buffalo Wild Wings Go has their grand opening ribbon cutting this Wednesday at noon. Uh, we'll be there for that. Um, so these and all of the businesses are listed on the city website for residents to, to look at. For the We have it compiled for the whole year. And then kind of to wrap up on the new business front, um, recently had a great meeting with a company that's looking to consolidate in the city. Uh, they're looking here in, in some neighboring cities. Uh, they're looking to take over 30,000 square feet. So... Um, and we continue to dialogue with them and hopefully in the future we'll have some good news and perhaps we'll be back before council with a job retention and creation grant and um, secure some more space. It's important to take advantage of these opportunities because we have a lot of multi-tenant office space to fill. So that concludes my report. Thank you. Wow, lots of exciting things that you presented. Does any member of council have any questions or comments? Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Okay. Is there anyone else that would like to be heard this evening? Mr. Feeney, did you want to give an update? I don't think he has a report, does he? Yeah, no. Oh, he does? Yeah. Good evening. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, an update on the Marnell project, progress to date. Our field survey crew started 
um, activities on September 13th. Uh, the mapping for the project is anticipated to be completed by November 1st. Uh, flow meters were installed September 18th and we anticipate pulling them on November 18th, so we'll leave them in place for two months. A rain gauge was installed at the Lander School, and that's currently in operation. That'll be pulled the same time as the flow meters. Our geotechnical crew started the um, started drilling on September 30th. That work is complete, and they are currently working on the the report aspect. Um, we're anticipating the completion of that report on October 25th. Um, the AECOM detailed die testing. The resident notification letters went out from the city. AECOM is out handing out their notification letters this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and we anticipate them being on site starting next week. I think to date we've received approximately six or seven rejections. So we'll be testing approximately 100 properties. Um, again, that's anticipated to start um, Monday, October 21st with a completion period through November 29th. So we anticipate the uh, draft report in December with the final report in January. Great. Thank you. Are there any questions for Mr. Feeney? Okay, perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. So we will now move to our uh, reports of committees, commissions, and boards, beginning with um, the building committee. And I put Mr. Medic as the chair of the building committee. Um, but Mr. Mano is the member. And do you have a report this evening? No report, Madam Chairman. Thank you. Finance and Audit Committee, Mr. Minor. So I do not have a report, but I would like to extend a congratulations to Dana and the Finance Department for getting that uh, recognition. There aren't that many in what we do in the world of accounting. So when we get one, <laughs> we should make a big deal about it. So good job. That is all. Any questions for Mr. Minor? Legislative Committee, Mrs. Sabella. Thank you, Madam President. Um, there was a joint finance and legislative meeting was held on October 1st. The purpose of the meeting was the salaries for the police and fire chiefs and assistant chiefs, and also for the non-union salary ordinance. The majority of council was present. Council presidents set in as a member for the finance committee. I would recommend that council have the PowerPoint presentation from the chiefs, the committee minutes, and Renee Augustine's memo. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions for Mrs. Sabetta? All right. Public Works and Service, Mr. Balestreo. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, the committee did not meet, but I'm trying uh, currently to set up a public uh, works meeting shortly. We're going to have a session to compile uh, some frequently asked questions and answers uh, and add them to our web page with regards to sewer uh, and backup issues. So, and then we'll have. Uh, We'll make sure we have input from all the pertinent departments. Okay, good. Thank you. And you'll let us know when that date is. Yes. Is. Okay. Before the end of the year? You, you oh, hopefully within the week or so. <laughs> oh, okay. Perfect. <laughs> all right. Recreation and Parks, Mr. Mano. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Tickets are on sale for a Halloween party scheduled for this Friday, October 18th. Until They'll, they'll be on sale until Wednesday, October 16th at noon. Full details can be found on the website under the Park and Rec page under special events on our social media or by calling 440-442-2627. Don't miss out on our Graves Anatomy Murder Mystery Dinner Tuesday, October 29th. Registration deadline is October 23rd. Full details can be found on the website under Park and Rec page for adult programs. If you're looking for ex exercise classes in the morning, join us for our new offerings. Chair yoga on Tuesdays from 9.15 to 10 a.m. Silver sneaker classic Thursdays 9 to 9.15 and silver sneaker circuit on Thursdays at 10.15. Please call us or stop in to register. That's all I have. Mr. Mano, what's the hours of the Grace Anatomy? 
Grey's Anatomy is... I don't have it on here. Three to six. Three to six. Three to six, Sean. Three to six? That's right, because they wanted to make sure the seniors were able to get home right. in daylight. So they okay. changed the time, correct? Because no. wasn't it late, like three, th was it later? So I can get home first. Okay. Yeah. So we can get home. All right, perfect, thank you. We have a meeting tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. for Parks and Rec. Safety and transportation, Ms. Talbin. I have no, uh, no report. Okay, thank you. Board of Zoning, Susan Sabato. Thank you, Madam President. No report, um, there were no applicants. Thank you. And Planning Commission, Mr. Balistrea. Thank you, Madam Chair. Planning Commission did not repeat, we uh, meet, we did not have an agenda, so therefore I have no report this week. Okay, thank you. Pursuant to city code, we will now move to the public portion. We will allow a maximum of 30 minutes for the entire public portion. If you are here in connection with an agenda item, this is your opportunity to address council. However, please note that this is not opportunity for debate or slighted comments. If you would like to be heard this evening, please fill out a form located on the table at the public entrance. And during the public portion, I will call each person wishing to speak to the podium. Please state your name and address for the record and speak clearly into the microphone. It is now 7.24, and I'll open up the public portion. First person I have is Mr. Licton. Thank you, Diane. I'm Chad Licton. I live at 6295 Fairhaven Road. And I just wanted to thank the members of council and the mayor for the interview process and for the opportunity to be selected. I do congratulate Matt for being appointed. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. Thank you. You had a great interview, too. We learned a lot about you. It was really nice. Very nice. Thank you. Is there anyone else that would like to be heard this evening? Okay. It's 7.25 and I will close the public portion. Um, we will move to resolution number 2024-44, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chair. Resolution 2024-44, a resolution authorizing the mayor to enter into an amendment to the agreement with Gloss, Pyle, Schomer, Burns, and Dave, and Inc. DBA GBD Group to provide professional engineering services to deal with the flooding event on August 17, 2024, and declaring an emergency. Third reading. We need a motion and second to table. I move to, to pay, table this. Okay. Moved by Ms. Telvin and second by Mr. Mano. Roll call on the motion to table. Mr. Mano. Yes. Mr. Balistrea. Yes. Mr. Medic. Yes. Mrs. Sabetta. Yes. Ms. Talbin. Yes. Mr. Minor. Yes. Mrs. Snyder. Yes. Resolution number 2024-44 has been tabled. We'll move to ordinances beginning at 2024-19. Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chair. Ordinance number 2024-19. An ordinance authorizing the mayor of the city of Mayfield Heights to enter into a collective bargaining agreement with the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees, AFSME, Ohio Council 8, Local 1617 Office, and Building Staff Bargaining Unit, and declaring an emergency. First reading. Is there a motion to suspend the rules? Move. Moved by Mr. Balstrea. Second. Second by Mr. Medic. Roll call on the motion to suspend. Mr. Medic. Yes. Mr. Minor. Yes. Ms. Tolbin. Yes. Mr. Balistrea. Yes. Mr. Mano. Yes. Mrs. Sabetta. Yes. Mrs. Snyder. Yes. Is there a motion to approve? Move. Moved by Mr. Mano. Second. A second by Mr. Minor. This is a collective bargaining agreement for the office and building staff 
is for a three-year period beginning January 1st of 2024. They will receive the same percentage as the other unions in the city. Are there any further questions? This was talked about at the finance meeting. Okay, roll call on the motion to approve. Ms. Talbin. Yes. Mrs. Sabetta. Yes. Mr. Minor. Yes. Mr. Mano. Yes. Mr. Medic. Yes. Mr. Balistrea. Yes. Mrs. Snyder. Yes. This ordinance has been approved. We'll move to ordinance number 2024-20, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chair. Ordinance number 2024-20. An ordinance amending Chapter 169 of the codified ordinances of the city titled Recreation and Parks Commission to increase the number of members on the Recreation and Parks Commission. First reading. Is there a motion to suspend the rules? Moved. Moved by Mr. Mano. Second. And second by Mr. Balistrea. Roll call on the motion to suspend. Mr. Balistrea. Yes. Ms. Talbin. Yes. Mrs. Sabetta. Yes. Mr. Medic. Yes. Mr. Minor. Yes. Mr. Mano. Yes. Mrs. Snyder. Yes. Is there a motion to approve? Moved by Mr. Mano. Second. And second by Mr. Minor. There was a joint legislative and finance meeting recently in which brought up the consideration of adding two additional people to the Parks and Recreation Commission changing the number of members from seven to nine. Due to the various events that are organized each year, the commission believes having additional members would be extremely helpful. A recreation director would like to see the increase in members as well. Are there any questions from council? Roll call on the motion to approve. Mr. Minor. Yes. Mr. Medic. Yes. Mr. Mano. Yes. Mr. Balistrea. Yes. Mrs. Sabetta. Yes. Ms. Talbin. Yes. Mrs. Snyder. Yes. This motion has been approved. <clears throat> Ordinance number 2024-21, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Ordinance number 2024-21. An ordinance providing for the organization of certain administrative departments and fixing the salaries <clears throat> excuse me, and other benefits of certain officers and employees therein and declaring an emergency. First reading. <clears throat> Is there a motion to suspend the rules? Moved, Moved by Mr. Balstrea. Second. Second. Second by Ms. Talbin. Roll call on the motion to suspend. Mrs. Sabetta. Yes. Mr. Mano. Yes. Mr. Balistrea. Yes. Ms. Talbin. Yes. Mr. Minor. Yes. Mr. Medic. Yes. Mrs. Snyder. Yes. Is there a motion to approve? Moved. Moved by Mr. Minor. Second. Second by Mr. Balistrea. This ordinance pertains to the directors appointed by the mayor and the other employees within the departments. This will also set their wages for the next three years. This ordinance would mimic the salary raise requested by the unions in the city. Um, the specific changes to the legislation are outlined in the attached um, and, and accompanied in the actual ordinance in our council packets. Does any member of council have any questions about the changes or additions? Okay. Roll call on the motion to approve. Mr. Mano. Yes. Mr. Balistrea. Yes. Mr. Medic. Yes. Mrs. Sabetta. Yes. Ms. Talbin. Yes. Mr. Minor. Yes. Mrs. Snyder. Yes. Motion, ordinance number 2024-21 has been approved. This evening there are no motions. Um, is there any new business from council? All right, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved by Ms. Sabetta and second by Mr. Mano. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. It's 7.30 and we are now adjourned. That's a brand new play ball. Yeah. Go guards. Go guards. <laughs>